You know what that means? Guess. I didn't know. I'm the 399th player to get a cap for the men's national team. Wow, interesting. Yeah, what a great little thing they do, huh? Uh, yes, nice. so they presented me this uh, jersey just now. I'm oh, 399th. Sounds so like whose, a lot of minutes. Whose idea was it to come here and... Uh, I got a call from Coach Greg, their halter. And so what'd you tell him? Absolutely, I'm honored, I'm privileged. Oh, what'd you tell, what'd you tell the players? Well, those are our secrets. <laughs> it's like, we gotta win, right? I mean, I, the main thing is, is that we're looking at now three generations, you know, from when I began, uh, late 80s, 90s, and then, of course, you had uh, Greg played in the tail end with Claudia Arena, and then, of course, you had Landon Donovan, and you, you look at the players such as uh, uh, Tim Howard and uh, Clint Dempsey's and such. That was kind of like the next generation, and now you have this new, new generation three decades later. So I said, you guys are the best team we've ever had, and... In, in my personal opinion, it, you know, looking from afar, either on TV or at the games, it seems to me that you guys enjoy playing and you enjoy playing for each other, and that's the recipe for success. What kind of sense of pride do you get thinking about how far soccer's come in this country and it maybe doesn't happen without your goal? Uh, I, I'm just, I got to chill when I walk in that room, to be honest with you. And I hadn't had that feeling and emotion for quite a long time. It was almost like a refreshing of that you're part of the national team again, reflecting back when I first made the U.S. national team. But certainly, you know, there's been a lot of resources pumped into the game. And you see the experts around uh, supporting the team in every capacity, from the physical to the mental to the sports science. Uh, it's just amazing. And, uh, you know, when I look at how far the game's gone with the women's winning massive world championships to us hosting now another World Cup, to see where these players on this current U.S. men's national team play, and they're not just playing in Europe, they're playing on big clubs in Europe and they're playing in Champions League. It's just fascinating. It's, it's almost hard to, you know, think what the next decade's going to lead to. To the point that you just made about where the men are playing in Europe and so on, those opportunities obviously weren't always there and a lot of barriers had to be knocked down to create. What do you make of how, how much work that took and now that it's happened? I know about those barriers, Jonathan. I mean, I mean, <laughs> believe me. Um, you know, one of the things I told them about, you know, my background is I strided every day to be the best soccer player I possibly could. And at some point in my life, I wanted to uh, prove to the world that Americans could play soccer. We're past that stage. I mean, we're obviously respected. Um, I think America loves soccer. America loves our men's national team, our women's national team. And the ones that don't love us fear us. And that's a whole different uh, level of the game that we're at today than obviously when you had those huge barriers that were laid before us but it's just all the timing of life and how the sport has evolved in this country is trinidad still a special opponent like trinidad's always going to be a special opponent i mean it's you know it, beyond us to getting to the world cup for the first time in 40 years by beating trinidad you know they followed up by defeating us and knocking us out of the world cup so now that's kind of added fuel to the fire there and uh you know they've always produced great talent and uh, it's not as easy as what people think about traveling down to a Caribbean nation and playing um, in particular the you know the air is different it could be um, the climate and in particular the field the field surfaces um, US is going to play Trinidad tomorrow night here in Austin Texas on a beautiful pitch and on TV maybe that field is looks beautiful in Trinidad on Monday night but in Reality, it could be bouncy, it could be hard, and there's differences. So, you know, they're a soccer passionate c country. They do play for each other. They love playing the game. They produce top players. They're athletic. And, uh, you know, they've had our number and we've had their number. So it's going to make for a great competition. Well, how is that one goal against Trinidad? You know, I think about a guy like Jonathan Moore seeing another big goal. He ended up playing in Honduras because I loved him so much after he helped him qualify against hate mail still from Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Do you have any of that sort of experience, or, or does it still echo where you maybe get a message on social media or hear from someone years later where you think, man, I didn't realize that it was going to have that impact in 89? Hey, well, you know, you asked the question 34 years later, and, you know, I'm brought in on this big game to speak to the team, and I think it does resonate with a lot of people, and it was an important moment not just for soccer in terms of the men's national team. I think it's global soccer. It's really brought um, soccer to the f forefront in this country, enabled us to host World Cups, both men's and women's, 
and expose this great sport to the rest of the country. And, you know, since then, of course, you've had a lot of European countries and events and tournaments come to the United States. So it's opened the, the market of soccer to the world by us qualifying, and it seems to have a ripple effect. Um, certainly, I, I, I think we've are past a big stage of uh, barriers that you mentioned or, or things of, uh, we, we're looking above everything. We're looking ahead to try to win a World Cup. I mean, that's the goal, and this is a very unique group that has gone through the system together. They play at big clubs, and they like playing for each other, so I think they have the talent, they have the ability, and if they just keep what they got going and people stay healthy, they have a good shot at it. How, how fresh is the memory of that goal for you still? Has it, has it resonated for you where you can close your eyes and still kind of feel the feeling of hitting that ball? Hearing it I remember hitting the ball, and I knew why and how and what brought me to that stage of life to be able to have the instinctive moment to deliver that shot. But, you know, when I do look back and I either watch the video or something, I thought, number one, I played better than I did. But when I watch video, it doesn't look that way. <laughs> um, and then, of course, you know, you kind of forget certain things. But um, I do remember the way I hit the ball, how I hit it. I trained that like that as a kid growing up, both, both feet kicking a ball against my garage. And as I got older and older, I, I put dirt in the middle of the street until I was on the other side of the street in the neighbor's driveway where I was shooting a ball very similar to that, both right and left foot, trying to reach my gr garage on a fly. So if you ever went to my house that I grew up in, you'd see there's stucco above the garage door that's uh, had to get patched a few times, but um, my parents just continue to let me kick on, I guess. Knowing how old some of the guys are on this team, telling them this story from, from many years ago, how does that make you feel a little old? Telling those stories. <laughs> well, I, I am old. I mean, it's not like I'm young. I mean, I wish I could be in the 20s and playing again. Yeah. But uh, certainly, you know, I, it was important to kind of point that out that this is the third generation. You know, if you look at it in decades, decade, decade, this is the third decade since uh, we qualified for the World Cup, and they're a very unique group. And um, you know, where they have to take the game. I mean, we've had some great victories, great, great moments. You know, reaching the quarterfinals of the Men's World Cup in 2002. That was a, a great achievement, and I think these guys believe they could do even more and better. It's just a matter of how they channel their emotions and how they you know, create that, uh, feed, their, feed their passion and feel, to feel their desires and do it together, and they could be great. Paul, how many times have you been back to Trinidad since? I went back to Trinidad, believe it or not, um, someone put together like a, the retired players versus the retired players, and we went down there and you would not believe it. I mean, we barely fielded a team. It was hard to get guys to get there and everything. The Trinidad and Tobago team was training for like six months. They were super fit. <laughs> you know, I catch I catch wind of this the night before as we're in the hotel. So I beg the guys that were organizing, can you just let me play forward? Let me play forward from the fort. And I scored the first goal against the same goalkeeper. Yeah. And I never score goals. And I'm playing forward. It was on some uh, free kick that landed to me, and I shot it and scored. And then shortly thereafter, I, you know, had to walk out the game because I pulled a muscle, supposedly. <laughs> that, at that stage it was 1-0, but we lost 5-1. And then the second time I went on a visit, and it was quite nice, I was able to see Tobago, the other island, and, and visit some uh, what they call colleges, but they're, they're high schools. And I was able to go a, a third time, so yeah, I've been there a few times. Do you get some stick from the, the locals or the opposing players? Just know oh yeah, every once in a while. I met Dwight York years later when he was with Man United and he came out to California and I introduced myself and he just jumped back like, oh no, you're, you're the villain, you know? But every once in a while I, I get that. But yeah, they're friendly people and uh, they love the game like we do. So they got back at us. So we'll see what happens from this point on. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. All right.